Hello, I'm Amy Hill, I'm 12, and I'm standing for UK Youth Parliament. Did you know the national unemployment rate of the UK is 5.4% of the population, whereas in Dorset it's 20%? This is far too high. This is why this is my main point of my campaign, to raise awareness of the employment skills that employers and business leaders look for to prepare us for the world of work, because someday you are going to have to get a job. I wanted to stand for election to improve things for young people by giving those young people a say in what they want their communities and futures to be. It would be a great privilege if I were to be elected because I could do all the things that made me want to stand for election and discover what issues are important to us young people of Dorset. This is why you should vote for me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Libby Foxlar. I'm 12 years old and I'd like to be a member of the UK Youth Parliament. If I were to be elected, my main manifesto would be to raise awareness on negative stereotypes surrounding young people today. I feel strongly about this issue because people could be discriminated on for their race, their gender, their religion, for having a disability or for their sexual orientation. And I believe this should change because the consequences are negative and could lead to something like anxiety or depression. You should vote for me because I'm passionate on this topic I always listen to other people's opinions and I'm never afraid to voice my own. I believe we could all make a difference in how young people are seen and make a change for the better. Thank you for listening. If you'd like me to represent you, please vote for me in the election. Hi, my name is Grace Fonsell. I'm 15 years old and I'm running for Youth Parliament because I want to raise awareness of bullying regarding body image. Because, let's face it, it's not okay to go, ah, he's such a fat slug, or she's such a skinny twig. Because this is not okay, because this can lead to mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety, which can in turn lead on to bulimia and anorexia, which are serious eating disorders. I want to stand for Youth Parliament because I'm really passionate about this, and also it is a campaign which is suitable for both girls, boys, and everyone in between, whether what age you are, where you're from, ethnicity, it affects everyone. So please vote for me this February. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jake Perkins, I'm 16 and I am standing to be the Member of Youth Parliament for Dorset. I'm standing because I want to be an accountable champion for the voice of young people across the county. My campaign point is to raise awareness of work experience opportunities for young people across Dorset. Because it's tough for young people to compete for jobs when they lack the work experience that many employers want. This would offer you to have something extra on your CV which could put you ahead of other candidates. Being involved in Youth Parliament means I can do one of my favourite things. Offer a platform for young people's opinions. Why? Because they matter. I want to represent young people. Going to politicians and holding them accountable. Asking them what they are doing for us. Helping them to be better represent us, the young people of Dorset. If this is what you want. Vote for Jake Perkins. Hello, my name is Alfie Carney, and I am standing as your representative into the UK Youth Parliament. My manifesto is to raise awareness of the benefits of extracurricular activities for young people. Studies have shown that 60% of students have attained higher qualifications if they participate in extracurricular activities. It is also a well-known fact that doing something positive reduces stress and anxiety. However, 55% of students across Dorset are unable or do not access activities that suit them. And I want to find out why. Are Dorset youth more stressed? Could they achieve more if they know how to access activities that will benefit them? If you agree with me and want to achieve more, vote for me, Alfie Carney. Thank you. My name is Sophie Rebel and I'm 14 years old. I want to raise awareness of mental health in young people by improving school students' understanding. I want to stand for election because I feel that teenagers' problems are overlooked and ignored until something goes wrong, and I think it takes a confident person to tackle this. Being elected would be my chance to make a positive impact and to represent um, people through my personal experiences. It would mean a lot to be able to speak out. I'm Sophie Revel, campaigning for awareness on mental health issues on young people. Thank you. Hi, I'm Grace Hill and I'm 13 years old and I am standing for election to UK Youth Parliament this February. My manifesto is to raise awareness of the negative stereotyping and peer pressures of young people today. These issues are becoming increasingly common and can have a detrimental effect on a young person's self-esteem and confidence. I would like to tackle this by encouraging all schools in Dorset to adopt 
uh, say something positively during anti-bullying week 2016. These issues are very close to my heart and affect thousands every day. So if you want to support my Say Something Positive campaign, then vote for me, Grace Hill, this February. Thank you. Hello, my name is Zach Wright. I'm 17 years old and I'm standing for the UK Youth Parliament. And my manifesto point is campaigning for the protection of youth services. Um, Dorset County Council is cutting the youth budget by 50%. This will affect things such as ther therapies provided through the mental health service and activities provided in youth centres. We must protect these things as they are vital for us young people. We also should engage more with these services so that services provide a service that we want and not just what people believe we should have. Um, I'm standing for UK Youth Parliament because I believe that young people need a strong voice and I believe I can provide that voice. Um, and a vote for me is a vote for the, not only the protection of these services but a strong voice for young people. Thank you for listening and I hope I can count on your vote. Hello, my name is Archie Rell. I'm 14 years old and I'm standing as your representative for the UK Youth Parliament so that I can get the voices of the young people heard and change Dorset for the better. The problems of the world are not a million miles away. You do have a say and you deserve to be heard. Statistics show that one in six of us can be affected by mental health at any point in our lives. This is the reason my manifesto is for the improvement in the understanding and awareness of mental health in young people, which can affect any of us at any time. I want to make sure that every young person has access to good local resources. They know how and where to get help, and that they know how to help themselves. Mental health is a growing problem in today's society, so I believe it is a vital subject to address. So let's make good things happen. Please vote Archie Rowland in February. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ed Walters. I'm standing for Youth Parliament and I'm 15 years old. My manifesto is to campaign to lower the prices of school meals in school canteens across Dorset. Cost of food has grown out of control in recent years. In fact, it's grown by over 20%. Some areas of Dorset have the most expensive meals in the whole country at over £2.50 for a basic hot school meal. Yes, people do rightly receive free school meals, and in fact the whole of Key Stage 1 have free ones. But surely it would be better to encourage all students to eat properly by reducing all the prices for all students. I will campaign for secondary students to get a better value, better quality products in their canteens. Please vote for me in February as your UKYP representative. Thank you. Hello, my name is Robert Patterson and I'm 12 years old. When I'm elected to youth parliament, I will work hard to raise awareness of racial and religious discrimination amongst young people. I aim to make all young people aware of this increasing problem so we can educate and encourage tolerance of racial and religious differences. I want to be elected to youth parliament because I think young people in general aren't considered to be as important or as influential as adults, but I believe our views and opinions are just as valid as those of an adult. Our voice isn't always heard, and when I become Youth Parliament representative for Dorset, I will make sure that it is. Being involved in the UK Youth Parliament is both an incredible opportunity and a huge responsibility, which I will really appreciate, but not take lightly. I will listen to your ideas and opinions on my, on my campaign points and others, and make sure it's heard and considered. Thank you for listening, and please vote for me. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm 14 years old. I'm standing for election into the UK Youth Parliament to help represent the voices of young people living in Dorset. We live in an ever-changing world and our opinions are often ignored when it comes to making decisions that affect us. If I'm elected, I'll aim to make our voices heard when such decisions are being made. My manifesto point is to reduce bullying in Dorset schools as this is an issue I feel extremely passionately about. It's estimated that around half of young people will experience bullying at some point in their school lives and I think this is so wrong. I've already started my campaign with DICE and by running workshops at the Dorset Anti-Bullying Conference. However, I need your vote if I'm going to keep my campaign going. So, if you feel that young people deserve a voice in our society and want a Member of Youth Parliament that will take your opinions forward, please vote for Sarah this February. Thank you.